are you scratching my speaker? You don't do that. Ah, you can't even look me in the eye. You know you're guilty. Good evening, John O'Flaherty, the B3 Burner. And today we've got some excitement. It's New Gear Day. And we're gonna be opening up the packaging for the Hammond SK Pro, which will replace my Hammond XK1C. Stand by for more. So before we open the new, let's uh, say a farewell to the old. I'm gonna sell this, uh, this, some of the money raised by the sale of this will help pay for the SK Pro. When I finally do sell it, that is. Uh, the XK1C is model year 2013, so its inception is already a decade old. Uh, I bought it used in May 2017, so seven or four years old its uh, inception of the model, but mine was probably built in 2016 or 17 because I don't think it was an original an original unit from 2013, but the technology is 10 years old. The SK Pro, which I'll show you when I open it up, is vintage 2021 gear. It's hard to believe it's already two years old, getting on to be that. And actually, I think it came out early 2021 for the 2021 NAM show. So yeah, that would make sense. So let me get it in position and put it somewhere where I can gently open it and it's protected. I guess the kitchen table is as uh, good a place as any and I'll be back with you. Okay, up on the kitchen table, where we're gonna be doing our unboxing. And the first thing I can't help but notice is the crushed corner. Uh, what is it about the word fragile these people don't understand? I hope this, uh, the outer packaging being damaged is not foreshadowing of things to come on the inside. I see a little bit more crushing and, and uh, not so tender treating of the packaging. But again, the lower manual of my XK5 when it arrived in October 2020, yeah, you might remember that half the, the boxing was completely ripped off uh, and it turned out fine, despite my greatest fears. And we'll uh, open it up from there. Hopefully I'm not too in the way when I cut this open. Being very careful. Not to slit or damage the hmm. get to the other side of the box. There we go. We're almost ready. Well, I get it. It's a box in a box. Okay. I didn't know they were doing that. Hey, this is what makes these unwrappings so interesting is you don't know what to expect. The main SK Pro box is in here. So let me carefully put this whole thing this way. Here we go. Just inch it out a bit at a time with my thumbs. Muscles I've never used before. It's a strange way to pull on a box. Get 
I can't get any leverage unless I use my thumbs. Very strange. Get it almost. There we go. That feels like more than 16 pounds, so we already know it's more than the XK1C. And let's watch our time because in recent videos, ever since I had the computer rebuilt and the operating system rebuilt and the new hard drive put in, um, videos on my iPhone um, that are over 30 minutes long, quite possibly over 20 minutes long, so I gotta be careful. Um, don't transfer over to the hard drive. So that uh, tells me that I have to keep my videos short and to the point, or if not, cut them up into sections. Now let's start with the width. And if I know sweet water, I'll get my usual candy. And what we do to one side, we'll do to the other. Excitement. I've heard so, much, so many good things about this board. I can only imagine. There we go. Well, the box is real durable. That's good. I don't make things nearly as exciting as Mick Foley does from the other side of the pond. Check out his videos. He's, uh, uh, he also, his not moniker is uh, Hammond, Hammond for Hire. So uh, be sure to check him out when you get the chance. All right, let's see what we got. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my God, would you look at that. There's our cord. They make a big deal out of the fact that it's a cord without a wall board. Everybody's so tired of wall boards these days. All right, I had it turned the wrong way. So let's very carefully Turn it around. It smells like new gear. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Would you look at that? Let's get you a bird's eye view. Yeah. Bird's eye. Looks like we can lift that out. I put it on the living room sofa just to get box out of the way, have an SK Pro uh, manual. There we go. All right, there it is. Okay, that's unwrapping right up to the wrapper of the keyboard. Let's take the end cases off, the end caps off. Each side. I can't say it has, so far I can't say it has better durability than the XK1C. Right now I'm treating it like it's delicate because it's brand new and I don't want to take any chances. Put some scotch tape here. And we have some scotch tape here. There it is. It is British green.
Mmm. Feels good. Drawbars feel really good. Here it is, folks. Feast your eyes on the Hammond SK Pro. 61 keyboard version. Let's detach the camera from the tripod and get a better look at this thing. I'll go into more detail later, but we have everything organ on the far left. We have master volume, which controls the volume of everything on the far, far left, but organ controls are everything from here, including this, clear over to here. Then this starts MJ, are you scratching my speaker? You don't do that. Ah, you can't even look me in the eye. You know you're guilty. All right. Our piano section is over here. Our ensemble section is over here. Wind, strings, choir, synth pad, bass, other two. I'm not sure what that is. This is our data screen. I'll pull that off momentarily. This is our value knob, how we change parameters or values within each parameter. And then finally, we have our monosynth. And this is how the buttons came from the factory. I'm not quite sure what that means, but I'll figure it out soon enough. So let's put this on the keyboard stand and take the XK1C off and I'll get back with you in a bit. Well, there it is on the keyboard stand. Looking nice. Now let's plug things in. We will use the cord without the ball wart. Slightly deeper than the other keyboard. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I didn't get any of my candy. Well, maybe it's in with the packaging. Sweetwater usually gives candy away. Maybe we're not close enough to Halloween. I don't know. Hold up a second. It's hard for me to tell which direction this is being twisted in. Bless you. Bless you, MJ. My cat is sneezing. My cat's allergic to cats. So we'll start with the plug. Turn the power off to the strip so I don't hurt it. AC in, very careful. Okay figure out how to plug in the expression pedal. And rather than using the foot switch as a Leslie on off, we're gonna be using the foot switch as a pedal damper since we now have piano. Pedal damper, expression pedal. And what are my other choices? This might be worth uh, showing you what it is I'm up against. All right, so there we go. We got damper pedal, expression pedal, foot switch. Foot switch number two, I guess it would help if I read the instructions. But I basically know it. Now this is a mystery, auxiliary level. And it's turned to the three o'clock position. And then there's a in jack that appears to be an eighth inch jack. Everything else is quarter inch. And it says individual out, number one and number two, organ pedal out, rotary out, which is if you wanna to go to a Leslie speaker quarter inch out. Thank God I don't have to do that. This is the regular line out. If I'm just going one chord out, this is what I would use, left mono. 
phones, that's for headphones, and ah, oh, look at this, look at this, an 11 pin Leslie jack. So I can hook it up using my 11 pin cable that I use for the XK5, I can share it with this and go directly to my Leslie 2101. All right, so let's get that other stuff plugged in. We'll, oh, I already did. The expression pedal goes to the push pedal for volume and the damper pedal goes to the damper pedal so I can dampen piano sounds. Next, I guess I'll hook up the quarter inch and we'll plug it in, see how it sounds. And a quarter inch, right in there, and there we go. That's it in a nutshell. Now I just need to bring over my bench, turn on my amp, and give it a whirl. All right, well, power the strip is on. Let's turn on the, uh, the mains. Ooh, color screen, look at that. Now that to me is really cool. Some people criticize the big screen and say it looks 90s. I entirely disagree. And you can see that right now it's loading. Getting things ready. I love it. That's how you know it's a real working computer. It's a work in progress. There we go. Vintage B3 DLS. Dr. Lonnie Smith. And this is where we play around with combinations and all kinds of things. And this is where my individual learning starts and I'll have to start reading the book. Let's see how it sounds. Now, if I wanted to have a lower split, well, that's interesting. Obviously, I'm going to have to read the instructions. I don't have the split board turned on. Lower. I told it to play the lower. Draw bar select, split. Three part organ. Wow. Guys, there's so much I need to do still. This is just the beginning. Classic gospel, vintage DLS.
that's weird. Sounds kind of weird. Sounds like there's a waveriness to it. Oh, there we go. Got to turn the modulation down. There's so much to learn here. And I thought I could get a organ sound. There we go. I got a piano and an organ simultaneously. How about that? demonstrate that I can use the uh, piano and the organ simultaneously. That's one of the things they advertised. Okay folks, that's about it. That's, that's the unwrapping. Pretty much uh, call it quits because at this point it's just a matter of academics and me learning how to use it. John O'Flaherty, B3 Burner, signing off. Uh, gonna enjoy my new piece of equipment. Go, of course, I gotta learn how it works, and this is the first step to doing that. Uh, talk to you later, goodbye.